Good boys, we're back today with some more Risk and Rain 2 lore. Hopefully you're all enjoying the content. I'm gonna try to keep on the schedule of giving you guys one RR2 lore video every week, maybe two sometimes, and releasing just a whole bunch of other content of other stuff I wanna do because I'm having fun with it. But today we're gonna be talking about the good old Topaz brooch, one of the better items for certain characters like Loader and uh, Rex. But let's get right to it. Its effect is pretty simple. Gain a temporary barrier on kill for 15 health plus 15 per stack. This is pretty good when, you know, there's a million mobs out there and you have good crowd control stuff. Your barrier will like overheal the hell out of you. It's like having two life bars, so it can be really good at times. But moving along to the 3D model, which is pretty dope. It's basically a brooch with a topaz crystal or precious gem inserted into it, which is really beautiful. It's probably really expensive. Brooches are usually encrusted with some type of gem, maybe a ruby, emerald, sapphire or diamond, something like that. But they're usually expensive pieces of jewelry that, you know, affluent people wear. I think it's beautiful. Okay, moving on to the flavor text for the topaz brooch, which is really surprising because it you wouldn't think that the topaz brooch would have this type of uh, flavor text or allure, but it's really surprising. So let's get to it. Order topaz brooch, tracking number 442, redacted. Estimated delivery, 05052056. Shipping method, high priority. Shipping address, locker number two, Pargos Resort Venus. Shipping details, the locker combination is 33941. Inside the package, besides your standard equipment, you will find the brooch. The appearance of this item is meant to blend in at the party. Pen it to your body and the software inside will map your extents. Activation will briefly cover you in an ultra-phasic shielding. When you have taken out the target, the shield will switch on to protect you from any immediate retaliation measures they have installed in the security system. If the time frame is not enough to make your escape, the shield can be reactivated. But we'd like to keep casualties to a minimum. Good luck. <laughs> if you guys haven't figured it out from this lore log, the person that's going to the party is definitely an assassin so to assassinate somebody and the brooch is, you know, a means of protective measures to save their life or keep them safe in the event. It's also cool to note that, uh, they say that the shield can be reactivated, but they want to keep casualties to a minimum because, you know, the activation effect for the topaz brooch is that you kill something. So if you wanted to keep the shield activated due to the security system attacking to you or other bodyguards, you would have to kill a bunch of people to keep it activated. So he kind of leaves that out, which is kind of a bad idea. I will want to know that when I'm an assassin. So I probably just need to go with it, roll with the punches and, you know, keep killing people to keep my shield on and keep myself alive. But let me know what you guys think about this topaz brooch, how, how assassins and stuff work in the Risk and Rain universe, and just, you know, your overall opinions about it. And like, sub, share, and I'll talk to you guys next time. You'll get another video this week, too, probably. We'll see. Busy guy. Stay safe. <laughs>